Well, hello friends and welcome back to my channel. And if you see behind me, my freeze dryer is going again. We have got some beautiful ham steaks and cubed ham to put in the freeze dryer. Four trays full. I'll show you. We've got three beautiful trays of ham steaks with three on each tray. And our final tray is the chunked ham. Now I got this from my butcher today and he didn't chunk it up but he sliced it all half inch thick so it's going to be nice ham steaks and it, it made absolute beautiful chunks. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get this in the freeze dryer and I'm going to show you that. We got our freeze dryer, I turned it on and I cooled the chamber down. That takes 15 minutes by the way. So right now, I'm going to close the drain valve. I don't think you can see it, but there's a little valve back here, and it's the drain valve, and you have to keep it closed when it says, and open when it says. Okay, so it says load food into freeze dryer, which we are going to do that. All four going in there. I didn't bother you with cutting up the ham uh, chunks because you just cut it bite size. You know, I wasn't going to bore you with that. Okay, so we got that. We look here, we see we got a ring completely around here. Now, sometimes when you close your freeze dryer, when you take that seal off, I'll show you. This, this is a seal, and this comes off. And I will show you more about that. And in a video, I'll explain all that to you. But if it, if you don't see that ring around, all you got to do is reach in there and just put your fingertips in and give it a little room, a little nudge outward. At least that's what the text told me at Harvest Run. So that's what I do, so that I see a ring all the way around it. Okay? The drain valve is closed, and we're going to hit continue. And now it's freezing, and I showed you that step. This is going to take probably, well, you know what, those are half-inch ham steaks, so I'm not even going to guess. At least 24 hours, I know that. might take a little more. But anyway, when that is done, we'll be back, and I'll show you how that all turns out. And we'll rehydrate some of the ham chunks. Okay, friends. This is done. We got to open up our drain valve. Hear that? And somebody just asked me on the last video if I have, if this requires a drain or, or what. And yes, they have a drain. They have a drain hose that when this defrosts, all that water has to drain out. So I just put mine, I just let mine drain into a little bucket and I change it after each defrosting batch. All right, so we're not gonna do anything with that yet. We're just gonna open this because we wanna make sure that these are completely dry. And they look to be. Let me bring it down here. Let me pull these out. And I'll bring you down so you can see that. Wow. These are definitely dry. Okay, we're going to close this up. Leave our drain valve open. And we're going to hit the defrost. The door's closed. Okay, it'll take two hours for that to defrost. All right, let me bring you down here so you can see this ham. Okay, I got you close up here. Look at these. That is dry. And they feel like styrofoam. They're really lightweight. And that is ham. I'm going to be able to package that up. I'm going to show you these ham steaks. Listen. Isn't that unbelievable? 
all dry. Now, I'm not going to show you, I'm not going to rehydrate these because I do want to package these up and I want all nine of them. But we will take a little bit, a few pieces of this, because ham is fully cooked. So we can take a few pieces of this and we can set these aside and we can rehydrate those in a minute. So that's how that turns out. Amazing, huh? So I'll meet you in the kitchen to rehydrate some of the ham after I get these packaged up. Okay, friends, I also had someone ask me if you could use regular uh, food bag bags, you know, vacuum bags to package these in. And yes, by all means, you can, especially if you're going to store them in a dark, cool place. Now, I store mine in my basement, in my room set. And it's always the same temperature down there. All year round, it's the same. So, it's beautiful. I want this to seal. There we go. I didn't press the seal button. Okay. All right, now I will show you. We're going to put... Oh... We're going to put three in each one, okay? We are also not going to forget our oxygen absorbers, okay? That's going to go in there, too. I'm just going to vacuum seal this just like so. that turns out beautiful that's how I package these ones I don't package everything in mylar okay friends this it took about a good five minutes for these to uh, rehydrate but look at you see beautiful and it looks just like let that zo zone in on it it looks just like a piece of store-bought ham just like it did before I put it in there I'm gonna taste it oh my goodness it doesn't taste any different it doesn't taste any different friends than when I put it in there it looks feels and tastes the same as it did when I put it in that freeze dryer so a success how wonderful now I've got some ham freeze-dried and put up for winter there you have it friends Thanks for watching.